Good morning and welcome to Dartmoor. This morning was supposed to be sunshine, but there's been no sunshine yet for the first hour and a half walking. I've uh, parked up at Hexworthy Bridge, walked up past the Forest Inn to a stone circle, or remains of a stone circle, and uh, it's just below down, down the ridge. And uh, from there, I've got no idea where I'm really going to go. I think first of all, I'm going to head to uh, John Bishop House, uh, the remains of John Bishop House, and then from there, I'm going to head up towards the Crock of Gold. I've been there before, but I couldn't find it. I'll explain why when I get there. And after that, I'm not really sure where I'm going to go. So join me for a day on Dartmoor. Let's go. Coming up now to John Bishop House. Uh, not that John Bishop, unless he's well over 100 years old. But John Bishop lived here back in the 1800s. It was also known as Swincombe Farm or Swincombe Ford Cottage. Look at this. What an entrance, what an amazing granite entrance into the house. Here we go. And look at that, there's the fireplace. Imagine that burning in the winter time. Wow, what a place this would have been. An incredible place. So John was a a stone wall builder and he loved to use large stones in the building of his walls. Look at this for a gate post, possibly the entrance to the farm. Wow, there would have been a huge gate on here look, but what a post that is. Look at that, stunning. This would have been the old pack horse track from uh, Ashburton to Tavistock. Imagine horse and carts coming along here. I mean, surely it must have been better in its day. Must have been. I found it. And the last time I was here, I searched and searched and I could not find it because OS map says it's on that side of the, the track. And it's not, last night I read on the internet that it's on the opposite side. So last time I was here, I searched this whole area trying to find it. But last time it was quite high grown as well. It was quite high and I could not see it anywhere. And now I know that the track is here and it's just there, just there. So here we go. This is the crock of gold. So what is the Crock of Gold? Well, it's actually a Kispian or a burial. And a local village person was actually buried here. And legend has it that this person was buried with a pot or a bag of gold coins. The locals in a local bar had heard about the cairn and the gold. And one particular local person called Luke Mudge decided to come up and steal the coins. Luke was a, a net builder building nets for rabbit warrens. And he came up one evening with a crowbar to lift the capping stone off the top. And all he found inside was no gold, just pottery, broken pottery. And legend has it that if you steal from a cairn or a burial, then an evil curse will strike you. And that evening, when Luke was lifting the capping stone, the capping stone broke in two and crushed his hand. He was there for days before eventually going to hospital. For years after that, all the locals told the tale of Luke Mudge trying to steal the coins from the crock of gold. Oops, watch your step. Come on, say hello then. Here we go, hello, gorgeous. 
gorgeous. Hello, you. Absolutely cracking. You are, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Oh, you're enjoying that, aren't you? Hey, you're enjoying that, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, you are. Right, I've got to come walking now. Hey, there you go. There you go. Ah, my new friend. Bye bye. Where to go next? It's all the old tin mining buildings at Whiteworks on Dartmoor. And these are places to visit. You can actually drive. The little road comes right down to a dead end. And you can drive here to have a little wander around. It is a fascinating place. Let's get across. <laughs> I'm being really careful now. I'm in a bogland, a boggy area. I need to go that way. So I'm carefully navigating my way through it because last time I was here, I was on a run. And I went up through here, ended up to my waist in a bog. And uh, it wasn't nice, quite scary in fact. So here's a clip of the time I fell in on that video. Okay, that wasn't good. That wasn't good at all. I think I went a bit deep there. That's actually a bit scary. <laughs> this is what I love. Remote, being miles away from any civilization. Just me and the countryside, the moors. You need to excuse the audio. I'm now on my phone. My batteries and my GoPro have both run out. Uh, look at this. Stone Circle. I've never been here before. I love exploring. I love finding something new. This is west of uh, Sherberton Farm. This has made my day. <laughs> Another fantastic walk on Dartmoor. I've had a great day. The sun came out eventually as well. And just by coincidence, <laughs> my car is parked just around the corner from a pub, the Forest Inn. And I think it'd be rude not to pop in for a quick drink, wouldn't it? I'm hoping they might have my favorite Devon Red Cider. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video, the walk. If you have, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's a lot more videos to come. And uh, whatever you're doing today, have a fantastic day. Oh no, the pub's closed. How mean is that? <laughs>